Hoboken, New Jersey is filled with converted factories that are so inspiring. And this one is home to Zoku, a design company that's found a creative way to add a little pop to their product line. Zoku is a design-driven oh, brand focused on creating wonderful consumer products. Oh, it's travel cutlery. You know, I love how these things nest together like that. And I also love the silicon grabber here, which makes it so it doesn't rattle, which is kind of ironic because this actually looks like a rattle. That's right. It was designed to be highly functional and something that you'd want to take with you on the go. Yeah, it's really nicely done. Check this out. Oh, what you got here? Oh, travel straw, beautiful. You know, I hate those plastic straws that litter the sidewalk and are all over the side of the road. What a great idea. And we do too, that's why we created this. Now tell me about this word Zoku, what does that mean? Zoku is the combination of my last name and my business partner Yosa's last name, and they're too long to pronounce, so we created something short and sweet. You know, I love that though, because it speaks to interdisciplinary teams coming together to innovate. That's right. It's kind of like this surfboard. You never know when a wave of innovation is gonna roll in off the beach. See what it did there? So now, this is cool and all, but I hear you're innovating around a space that's very near and dear to my heart as a child. We are, come on, let me show you. So this is it, we call it Quick Pop Maker. The Quick Pop Maker. Yes, and it makes pops in seven minutes on a countertop without electricity. Wow, seven minutes, it used to take way longer than that when I was a kid. Are you telling me you're defying the laws of physics? Yes, and it freezes before your eyes. Before your eyes, how does all that happen? What is this crazy motorcycle part here on the table? Well, we call it heat sink and it helps us draw the heat out of the liquid oh, and see. freeze it really fast. I see, so all of this extra surface area here is drawing heat away from the center. Now what's this made out of? Is this some kind of magic metal? Not really, Scott. It's just the aluminum. And when it's cold, it just helps, freezes ah, really fast. So the aluminum helps too to make everything go fast. So this is the exterior of the part and this is the engine. And the whole thing goes into the freezer. Wait a second, you're taking this thing out of the freezer to make popsicles? That's right, out of the freezer and onto the counter and you can make them right before your eyes. So the first thing that you do is you put the sticks in and once the sticks are in, all you need to do is pour in your juice and it'll freeze. That is so great. So, you know, I love all these little details you've thought of here, like these things that are designed to grip the ice. It's like every little detail has been considered. You know, that's one of the things that we do here at Zoku is we think of a lot of detail and into every product that we design. Okay, so when are we gonna make some pops? We're gonna do that now. We have some experts on the way. Oh, here come the experts. This is what it's all about, Scott. The kids really love this. All right, fist pump. <laughs> Who's ready to make some pops? Me. Here you go. Here you go, Ollie. Let's drop these in. Who would like purple? Purple grape. Here you go, Ollie. And who would like orange? Here you go, Sonny. And pink for Uncle Scott. It's my color. So, Ollie, why don't you pour yours in? And we'll go right up to the fill line and we'll be I able to... Okay, great. Stop. Good. Perfect. And Sonny, why don't you go? That's great. And I'm gonna pour in Uncle Scott's right in the middle. Yeah, and don't spill any pink of that pink lemonade. Gold. Color. Pink is his favorite color. Tell me when. Stop. All right. And then we have to wait seven minutes and they'll be ready to go. So the pops are ready, guys. Who's ready for a popsicle? Me. All right, so try to pull them out. Oh. Now, wait a second. Those are really stuck in there. Yeah. That seems like a problem. This was a big problem, Scott. So we got the device to freeze the pops, and then we hit this major hurdle to try and remove them, and we couldn't do it. Yeah, that's like an idea killer. That could turn a pop into a fizzle. Our solution is what we call our super tool, and it works kind of like a corkscrew in a, with a wine bottle. Oh yeah, so you're getting some rotational leverage here. It's gonna pry it out slowly as you turn exactly. it. Exactly, so we created a, an interface with the stick where it would grab the stick and easily pull ah, the, the pop out. that's such a clever solution. So check it out, Sonny, what do you think? Oh, wow. Is that completely Problem frozen? Oh, genius. Uh -huh. Why don't you taste it, see how it is? Mm, that's yummy. Yummy? You know, it's amazing how making an ice pop and being able to enjoy it almost instantly is so satisfying. And by the way, it's not just for kids. 
This next project is about brands and how they're serving the underrepresented. PepsiCo, I mean, they're, they're trying something really interesting here. I really am a big fan of these artists that they're bringing. They're asking the question, can they take a step back and allow those artists' voice to speak their truth? Imagine you had the opportunity to impact billions of people every day with the products you make and design. What would you do with it? Mauro, I know that Pepsi is really committed to sustainability and health and wellness. What about diversity? What I think about this every day is the fun part of my job and the most challenging one as well. Uh, it's a big opportunity and also a big responsibility. We think of diversity at 360 degrees. It goes from the way we build our teams, uh, the people we choose, the way they work together, their culture, their mindset, all the way to the platforms that we have, the products, the brands, uh, and how we use those platforms to deliver the right message to the society. So, who's this guy? This was actually designed by Front for Movie, Marcel Wander's brand. Oh, he's a judge on the show. Small world. Indeed. Generica, you have a big job here. Tell me what you're doing. I'm leading the diversity task force for our design team here in New York, but we have a bunch of designers internationally, North America, we have offices all over the world. And with that being said, we want to create safe and inclusive spaces where people can really be themselves. We know authenticity and diversity breeds innovation. And as a designer, you're asked to innovate 100% of the time. And that means creating safe spaces where you can be your full self, regardless of who you are, who you love, where you come from, you have a voice here and we want to make sure we're building that foundation for our team. Heliana, PepsiCo has a lot of projects going on. Yes, Doritos is a brand that has been about bold championing of self-expression. Uh, this year we've chosen to highlight and amplify seven change makers within the black community and to further amplify their voices, we've given them $50,000 to help drive their initiatives forward. And I see there's a book here. Tell me about this path to parenthood for the LGBTQ community. Path to Parenthood is a book that champions and chronicles the pathway that it takes for LGBTQ plus community members on their pathway to becoming parents. Proceeds of the book uh, go to back to the foundation Family Equality, where we again hope to raise awareness and create a more diverse and inclusive world. And what are you doing with Stacy's? Women-funded businesses have always been at the heart of Stacy's. Um, so the Rise Project is a initiative that really celebrates and uplifts women founders. Um, to date, we've, get, we've donated up to $450,000 to women and women-funded initiatives. Each year, we've partnered with different illustrators to help bring along that journey and that path that women entrepreneurs have to take to success. LifeWater is a brand that provides a platform to emerging artists. Don, what was it like to work with LifeWater? It was awesome and it was a great opportunity to have my work seen all over the country. The Roshi painting is part of a larger series of paintings I have called Punk Noir, uh, where I painted black individuals who have a, a punk spirit. And when you look at the painting, Roshi's doing a back bend and the, the look of the painting is inspired by the compositional techniques used in fashion photography. The piece is uh, six foot by six foot. It's larger than life. And it's awesome to have my work on the bottle because everyone can't have the original piece, but they can at least have this bottle um, with my art on it. And people have told me that when they see Roshi, they, they feel joy. So I think it's really cool that my work could be on this bottle of life water and people could see that and possibly feel joy, even, even if it's just for a second. Moro. What was the motivation in doing all of this? Well, somebody may think that it's all about corporate social responsibility. The, the reality is that, yes, it is that, and it's so much more than that. Diversity, you know this very well, you know, for us designers, innovators of the world, uh, is such an important asset. Every time we design, we innovate, it's all about looking at what surrounds us and trying to see something that nobody ever saw before. And, and this is really when you need somebody by you that has a different perspective through a respectful dialogue with that person, you're going to build a third new perspective. That's the innovative perspective. And this is why diversity is so important for all of us. What PepsiCo is doing here is critical. They're leveraging their brands to make an impact. 
whether it's people of color, the LGBTQ plus community, or women entrepreneurs. Design has the power to make an immediate connection and create real change.